So you might be trying to figure out when you actually airdrop a file onto your iPhone, where does it actually go? Now, this is a very, very easy thing to understand, but it really depends on how you airdrop that file over to this specific iPhone or which iPhone you are, you're ever having. Now, if I go through and if I try to go ahead and share, let's just say I send myself a specific photo, right? So I'm on my MacBook, I'm sending and I'm airdropping a photo to this specific iPhone. So if I go and share myself a photo, it really depends on where exactly that photo file, whatever it is, whatever that file is. So if I'm being sent photos or videos, if I go and accept it, those photos and videos are going to be stored inside of the Photos app and it's going to automatically open up that application. So if it's photos and videos, all you're going to have to do is go ahead, make your way over to your Photos application, open it up, and you should be able to see that specific file just right there, just sitting there, that photo or video. Now, let's say it's not a photo or video. Let's say it's another thing. Let's say it's a you know file that's being sent to you or whatever. Well, if that's the case, what you're going to want to do there is you want to open up your files application. So click on files, just like so. Now, this application is going to house that file somewhere. Now, your directory may be completely different than mine, but one of the most easiest ways of getting there is finding the recents panel at the bottom, and you should be able to see a list of all the recent files that were accessed on your phone or that were sent to you or you were downloaded or whatever. So if it's an airdrop file that just got sent to you, you should be able to see that file, one of the first ones here. That's basically all you're going to have to do, and it's really the easiest way of pretty much doing it. So all you're going to want to do here is find that file or go ahead and click on browse. And you can also basically browse through all the other areas that you have on your phone. And you can basically download that file this way. So you can go ahead and click on on my iPhone or iCloud drive, wherever you think that file is, and you should be able to find it this way. All your airdrop files, if you didn't open it within a specific application should be brought here and you should be able to see them that way too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.